We get it. Nobody thought we would be here. Nobody thought we could be here. A fall without a field. A preseason on an active construction site. At one point we had to wear hard hats just to walk to our own dugout. Then we got swept on opening weekend and got a new head coach just days later. We hit the road for two weeks. We played the lightest home schedule this program has ever seen. We dropped games we shouldn't and we were embarrassed. Not just for the numbers on the back of our jerseys, but the name on the front. Back then, we weren't ready and we paid for it. It wasn't just a hole we had to dig ourselves out of, it was a pit. There's a high fly ball. He's gonna try to throw it to the plate, but it will not be in time, and Missouri will win the ball game in extra innings by a score of five to four. But we learned from our lows. Those moments didn't just teach us about the game. They taught us about ourselves. They taught us about integrity, intensity, identity, and preparation. You'll hear us talk about starting two and seven in the SEC. Most people try to ignore their failures, but not us. And Mississippi State drops to 14 and 15 on the year and two and seven in the Southeastern Conference. We refuse to forget these moments that shaped us, no matter how much they hurt. Iron is forged in flame, and our strength today was built on the hardships of our past. We had every excuse to quit, but that's not what Bulldogs do. Let's be real clear about when this started. Did T-Sun really think they could come into Duty Noble and push us around? We don't lose to that school, and we sure don't let them come into our house without sending them right back up the road. You don't make it out of Duty Noble without going through us. Who cares what anyone is ranked? We were outside the polls all year, but here we are. 10 and one against the top five and only team in Mississippi still playing. We took down three top five teams, swept the number one team in the country, and knocked off a national seed on their own field. And there's a ball in the air, deep in the outfield. Got a chance, got a chance. Gone, three run homer. McNamee, McNamee leaping around the bases. Mississippi State has shocked Florida State and will stay alive and play some more in 2018. Are we supposed to be impressed by a number next to your name? We've got 20 come from behind wins. We've won five straight elimination games on the road to Omaha, and we've walked off six different times. Ball is in the air, in the gap, right center field, all the way to the wall, Mangum to third, across the plate is Anderson, here he comes, here he comes, he scores. Bulldogs have won it in walk-off fashion over Ole Miss. We won't quit because we don't know how. It's what we do. We're after one thing and one thing only. We're chasing the Holy Grail, not just because we want it, not just because we deserve it, but because it is our duty when we wear the maroon and white. This is why you come to Mississippi State. This is what we play for. And this is why we put on this uniform. The M over S doesn't just stand for Mississippi State. It stands for everyone who came before us. It represents Clark and Palmero, Thigpen and Brantley, Polk and Cohen, Renfro and Frazier. It represents championships. It represents the greatest fans in college baseball. It represents the birthright of being a Bulldog. The road to Omaha and the chase for a national championship. This trip is for those who came before us and for the ones who will follow. We're chasing our faith, sprinting for our prize, fighting for our glory and demanding the absolute best of ourselves on every pitch, every play, and every second of every game because we want what is ours and we don't quit. Bouncing ball, slowly to first, Tanner Allen gets it, tags the runner going by, out recorded, Omaha, here comes the Bulldog baseball team. Maybe you didn't think we'd make it here, but we know this is exactly where we're supposed to be. Get ready, Omaha. Dogs are coming. <laughs>